Hey guys, and welcome to a very sleep-deprived episode of the Spelunky Daily Challenge. On a related note, uh, this may be the last Spelunky Daily Challenge for a while. I might be able to get tomorrow's done, but what's going on is I'm going to visit my girlfriend in Virginia, and I'm going to be gone until Wednesday, uh, and I may or may not get Wednesdays done as well. I'm not sure, you know, what exactly is going to be going on when I get back and what, all, what else I'll need to deal with, but hopefully... I'll get Wednesday's Spelunky Daily done. I'm also, oh wow, webcon right away. Bear's gonna be excited about this one. Um, that looks like it's already fired, but might as well check. Uh, but yeah, we are, I, I'm going to be, oh my god, that spider hit me, are you serious? Okay, well, um, regardless. So I may or may not get tomorrow's Spelunky Daily gone, but I'm going to be gone for a while, basically. Uh, and there are obviously going to be no uh, Spelunky videos up for that, but I'm going to try to get one video up a day. I might miss a day while I'm gone as well. Uh, but I'm going to record as much as I can today. I've been behind on recording as it is, but I've already got one extra episode, so I know that at the very least there will be that. Head to Head is obviously going up on Sunday. Or is it Head Dead or Green vs. Zen? I don't know. One of, the, one of those, and obviously Zen will get the other one on his channel as well. And, um, you know, some other videos as well, hopefully. I want to maybe do some, some Our Darker Purpose, some Paranautical Activity, stuff like that while I'm gone. And also while I'm gone, I am going to be recording, which is nice. Uh, Katie and I really want to do a Spelunky co-op series while I'm gone, so unless something goes horribly wrong with that and we can't figure out how to record on her computer or something, then that should be coming when I get back as well and I'll dole those out over the, the week or two after I get back depending on you know how many episodes we make and how often I need filler, basically. <laughs> uh, so that'll be good as well, I'm looking forward to that. I've been wanting to do Spelunky co-op for a long time. Don't fall on the altar bomb. Okay. Worried about that. It looked like it might, and that would have been just pretty much the best start to this daily challenge possible. You know, I could have, you know, it could have been an eggplant run, maybe, except I destroyed the altar that I would have probably needed for the eggplant. I'm taking damage from things today. That's uh, that's a, definitely a thing that's happening, and I'm not thrilled about it. But again, I'm pretty tired. Are you fucking kidding me? How did I not grab either of those ledges? I was trying for both of them. I guess I, I tried too hard and I got neither. That is unfortunate. So we're down to two health and things are looking a little bit dire. I'm gonna have to trigger this like that so that we don't get arrowed. I might have been able to to hit it with the web gun so that the arrow would have been like disarmed. Wow, this could be an eggplant run, Jesus. Um, yeah, I could have maybe blocked the arrow with the web gun, but get out of your skeleton. It's not Halloween anymore. Uh, yeah, but no, basically, that's where that was going. Because I could have, oh, because I could have web gun jumped higher than I meant to and ended up in the path of the bullet instead. Okay, we, we just gotta kill this man. There's no way around it. We have to pick up the pitcher's mid as well. I don't know a way around that. Not a reliable way, anyway. What did we get in that crate? I can't tell. Was it bombs? I don't know what we got in that crate. Uh, two bombs for a crate is probably worthwhile when I have five. I'm down to one health. I didn't even think about my health situation before I did that. That was dumb, because now we are one damage away from instant death which is unfortunate, but we're about to move on to the next floor with a Joby in tow. We can make him... there we go. And unfortunately, I know Bear Taffy is going to be keeping that web gun until the bitter end, but I am going to leave it behind because I am not the hugest web gun fan myself. What the fuck was in that mystery box? I really don't know. What's going on in this shop? Nothing at all. Well, spring shoes, or spike shoes are fairly important, so we could try to pick those up. Hopefully that shop doesn't fucking murder us. Getting a dark level right after killing a shopkeeper hurts a lot, uh, because not only is it extra super duper likely to fuck up and die to him, but we also have to juggle the shotgun and the torch. Basically just 
dicks. Dicks and balls and butts. To quote Alpaca Patrol. Um, what are we gonna do about this? Okay, I think just come here and do that, then we can shoot this guy. Yep, okay, good. So he should be dead pretty soon, shortly here. Given the number of bullets that are going toward him. Yep, he is gone. Watch out for the spikes. There we go, we'll get the spike shoes. And that's all done. Unfortunately, can't see anything below me, so, you know. Oh, god damn it, spiders. Spiders on dark levels are the biggest bullshit. Oh, I forgot I had pictures made. That would have made uh, bombing into that guy's shop way easier if I had known I had it. But oh well. Let's check this area out, being really careful of spiders, but, you know, just want to know. God damn it, I hate being at one health. <laughs> so bad. This is going to be a daily challenge where I just fail completely due to just total ineptitude at playing the game, <laughs> unfortunately, but shit happens. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, that was so fucking close. <gasps> These powder kegs, stop it! Okay, I just want to light my way a little bit here and see what's going on. Get some torches downrange so we can see where the shopkeeper is before he comes and murders me. Okay, so he's gonna be in one of these, one of these situations. That's uh, that's good for us, I would say. Oh no, okay, so it stopped being good for us. Okay, we need this, we need that. Oh no, that was the worst. Okay, oh no, okay, good. Shopkeeper's dead. I am alive. Ghost is going to be juked very effectively. We're going to take all this guy's money because I'm a cheeky asshole. And we're going to leave and hope that the Ujedi is on the next floor. Because it certainly wasn't on that one as far as I could tell. But being a dark level is kind of hard to tell sometimes. Ah, uh, man. Still one health, obviously, because I couldn't rescue a dog that time. But that's okay. That's okay. I've come back from one health on the mines before many times. And there, there have been many more times where I just like didn't take damage the entire time until I got the onk and used it. So, you know, all is not lost. If I if my spelunky skill happens to return at the opportune moment here, then we could easily end up succeeding in this run and it won't even matter that we took all this damage. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we want this to go down. And then we want to float down and kill the bat. What was that? I think that was me being saved by an arrow shot that would have hit me <laughs> from my shotgun shooting over there. No, no, it was actually an exploding powder keg probably hitting a snake with a piece of gold. Okay, it all makes sense now. We're down to one fucking bomb as well, <laughs> which is going to make this giant spider really interesting. Not that interesting, I guess, because we do have a shotgun. So that's a pretty easy battle to take part in. We'll come up here, we'll grab the key. And this Joby is borderline essential right now because being at one health is just so scary. It's a huge psychological disadvantage, I would say. So we're going to scope out the exit first, obviously, but hopefully we can get the Joby safely down there. I don't know, man. It's looking really hard to get them out of the line of fire, so we'll probably just use a rope to get back up here. Because we do have climbing gloves, which makes ropes like largely unnecessary. Okay. Well, <laughs> he turned around at the ideal moment for him. I was trying to shoot him in the back so you couldn't shoot me back. Because what he does when he sees you, he just starts running forward. So if you drop down behind him, then he'll just run away from you. And I was trying to catch him in the back with some bullets, but as in the same frame as I decided to drop down, he decided to turn around. And that's how that went. Oh man, 10 minutes. I hate to do this, but I've got a lot of stuff to do today, so I think that's going to be the only run I do today, and I'm really sorry. But uh, again, 
maybe a Spelunky Daily tomorrow, Saturday. Maybe not. Depends. I, I have to leave for my flight two hours after it rolls over, so I'll see if I have time then. And then random videos, hopefully, until Wednesday. And then I come back with the co-op series with Katie, and that'll be fun. So either way, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.